What's up guys, Tim from Tim the Drew Films here back with another Blender Game Engine tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of your reticle depending on whether you're aiming at an ally or at an enemy. Uh, I will involve a little bit of Python scripting but let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete the default cube and then I'm going to select my camera and delete that as well because we don't need those. Uh, there's a link to a template that I made in the description. So once you've downloaded that template, unless you already have a character, then you're going to click on the template blend, uh, hit the object and then camera, hold down shift and select cube and plane as well and append those from the library. So we just have this. Then I'm going to change from Blender Renner to Blender Game, change from solid to textured, hit N. And then under shading, I'm going to change it from multi texture to GLSL. Then what we're going to do is select the camera, hit space and type in snap and select the first one, snap cursor to selected. Another thing we're going to do, select the lamp and go over to the lamp's properties over here and change it to a hemi like that. Then we can rotate it around like that, just uh, whatever, however you want it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift A and add a plane, then hit R, X and 90 and drag it along to the front of the camera just like this. And then what we're going to do is hit zero to go into the camera view, scale it down all the way like this. This is just going to be our reticle unless you already have one. Keep in mind that for this, your reticle needs to be an object and not just a texture. We're going to hit tab, select these two vertices and press E and X and just scale those like that. Same thing on the other side, E and X, just like that. Then select the top two, hit E and Z. And then the bottom two, E and Z. Just like that. So now we have a reticle. And then another thing you want to do under the reticle properties, go to the physics tab and change it from static to no collision. And then we're going to drag this out, go to the property, uh, sorry, go to the material tab, add a new material, and then go down to the options over here and select object color. Okay, so then what you want to do is hold down shift, select your camera, and then hit control P and object. So now when we hit play, we move around, the uh, reticle stays with us. I'm also going to change the reticle um, color to shadeless so that it doesn't get affected by all the pesky light that's everywhere. So we're going to add two objects, one is going to be an enemy, one's going to be a friend, so we'll add the enemy first. Just click right here, and then hit Shift, A, Mesh, and Cube. I'll drag this up a little bit, scale it on the Z axis, and then scale it up. And then hit Shift, D, and X. Then we want to drag up our timeline like this, and change it from Timeline to Logic Editor. And we want to select our first cube, add a game property, rename it to Type change it from float to string, and then in here, we're going to type in enemy, like that. Then we're going to do the same on the other object, so add a game property, change it from float to string, rename it to type, and then call it uh, ally. Then what we're going to do is select our camera, and we can minimize this stuff over here, and we're going to add a ray sensor. We can rename it to ray with a small r, just like that. Uh, change it from positive y to negative z, and the reason for that is because even though it looks like it's pointing in the ne in the positive y direction, if we change this from global to local, you can see it's actually pointing in the negative z direction. Sneaky, sneaky blender. So we're going to change that to negative z and change the range to about 50. And that basically means 50 blender units is how far it's going to go. Okay, then what we can do is we can minimize that. We can add an always sensor and click these top three dots over here. Then we can minimize that, and then under the camera controllers, we can add a Python controller and connect both of these to the Python controller. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a script by dragging this out, dragging that down a little bit, and then we can change this from the outliner to the text editor, add a new script, and we can call this rayfinder or something, whatever, .py, and we can select that script right here in the controller. Then we can minimize that, and what we're going to type is import. BGE, which is basically a big library of things we can access. Then we're going to type CONT is equal to BGE.logic.get current controller. And then two parentheses at the end. Then hit enter and type in own. It's going to be equal to CONT.owner. Just like that. Then hit enter twice and we're going to grab our scene. So C is going to be equal to BGE.logic.get current scene with two parentheses on the end okay then we're going to grab the reticle so reticle is going to be equal to scene dot objects 
and then two square brackets inside those square brackets, two quotation marks, and then reticle. Just like that. And then what we're also going to do is name our reticle reticle. So under the object settings for the reticle, just change it from plain to reticle. Like that. Okay, so what we're going to do up here now is we're going to define our ray. So ray is going to be equal to cont.sensors and then two square brackets, two quotation marks, ray, which is the name of the uh, sensor that we added in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say if ray.positive and then a colon and then enter, then target, oh, sorry. Um, we're going to go up under ray and type in target is going to be equal to ray dot hit object. Just like that. Okay. Then over here, hit enter, if target, and then two square brackets. Now we're going to access that type property that we added in. So between those two, we can type in type, then two uh, equal signs there, and then two quotation marks, ally, then forward colon enter and then reticle dot color must be equal to and since it's um since this is an ally we want it to be green so zero comma one comma zero comma and then capital T true just like that oops not like that like that then we can hit enter again and hit the left arrow and then type in if target type like that is equal equal to enemy then we want it uh, then we want the reticle color to be um, red so reticle dot color must equal one comma zero comma zero comma capital T true again mistakes mistakes are real okay so comma true then we're gonna hit enter again and hit the left arrow twice and type in else colon enter um, reticle dot color must be equal to and we'll just make it white so one comma zero no one comma one comma one comma true just like that so now we should see if we hit zero to go into our camera view and we hit play we should see when we hover over our our ally it goes green when we hover over our enemy it goes red so you could have a bunch of these enemies around here and then maybe you'd have like you know, one or two allies and you don't know which one is which and then you could just use your super awesome like reticle finder thing to find it. Look, if you hit play, you can see that one's an enemy. That one is not working because you've got to go closer to it. And this one's a friend, enemy, enemy, and friend. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you dislike the video, be sure to hit the dislike button. And if you want more, of me talking crap to you while I teach you how to do stuff in the Blender game engine, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I will be releasing uh, weekly tutorials. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.